Can you hear him all the way over there? Yeah. Jackson's a big eater. <laughs> this is his first time fishing. All he wants to do is eat. Imagine that. He is after me. No. <laughs> We're staying at this cabin back there at Natchez Trace State Park in West Tennessee. This is Cub Lake. It's actually just a pond, but they call it a lake. No bots yet. You gonna smile again? Mm. Looking outside now. Hey. 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 You happy baby? Yeah. You happy baby? Yeah. <laughs> you happy now, aren't you? Are you happy? Mm, tell me about it. You gonna cross it? Get those cheeks. Get those cheeks. Yeah. Whoa. What are you looking at now? Is that you? He's like, man, I'm not cute. <laughs> That's one cute baby. Are you cute baby? What do you think about it? You like trees? <laughs> you got your hair again. Yeah. He's been getting my hair, and sometimes he'll get my necklace or the color of my shirt. <laughs> See the sunset? It's bright over there, isn't it? You just know it's flat over there. He's fascinated by the trees in the sky. He's getting sleepy too. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> See the fire? <laughs> you don't care about the fire? Whoa. You approve of your first campfire? Is that a yes? Bobble your head if it's yes. You want to look at the fire? You'll see that for sure. Uh, my hair. Hey, that is my hair. Can you let go? Can you let go? Jackson's first fire. What do you think? Can you see the fire?
since he likes camping. When he has a ball. <laughs> Like picnicking. Yep. Picnicking. This is day two of Jackson's first adventure. So I guess today the only thing we've done so far is drive around and go to the visitor center and a couple campgrounds. Now we're at a picnic shelter and Jackson's getting fed. And next we're gonna go to the Pin Oak Lodge, check it out, and then go to Brown Creek Lake and fish some. So maybe we'll catch a fish today. Jackson catches first fish. <laughs> What's your thing about fishing so far? He loves it. Kind of boring? Put him to sleep. <laughs> okay, that cool breeze puts him to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> We're at. He likes the Oh, yeah. Earlier when he was all mad, I turned it on and he'd stop crying. <laughs> Now in the wind, with the wind blowing, he's yeah, happy. he's happy. We're at Browns Creek Lake. It's a build ass, build ant signature lake, so there's supposed to be some big fish in here. It actually has the state record black crappie, and there's been some big bass caught in here too. Well, no luck at Browns Creek Lake. I did have one that I lost on this spinnerbait. It's the only bite I had. Um, it was actually right here. It got about quarter ways to the bank and jumped up and flung it out, or flung it off. I tried this spinnerbait, a Ned rig, a swim bait, um, a jig, and a little small crankbait, and nothing. Only thing was on this spinnerbait, the little War Eagle quarter ounce spinnerbait. It's like the pretty clear water. But I'm on the like dam area, like where the rocky rip up here, rocky rip rap is, and um, it's just like a deep drop off right here. I think it'd be better if I was over on the bank, like in the shade and stuff. Oh well, it's still pretty fun. Now we're gonna head back to the cabin and cook some dinner and hang out for the rest of the evening and head back home tomorrow. There you go. <laughs>
Yeah. Wore yourself out, didn't you? He was close to rolling over on his side earlier. So yeah. Does that mean your time is over? Your tummy time and belly time and or belly time and back time is over? He looks like a different kid with his hair combed backwards. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a big boy. You do. So that's a big boy. Yeah, one you're one of old. Goodness. Ah. Ooh. Oh goodness. A bad looking face. I know. <laughs> I think that's why he spits up sometimes. He yeah. Gets up. Hey. You want to look out the window like you did earlier? Watch. This is what I was doing earlier. He was having a blast. He's watching. He's looking up at the trees again. See? Yep. I guess he looks at the sky. I guess the sky is so bright. That's what he's probably what he sees. Sleep. Then mm -hmm. get away from me, sleep. Can you ride and push it down? Push. You ready for the drop home? Hmm? Ready for a new adventure? So here's our little cabin at Cub Lake. We're cabin five. Walking in the front door. There's Beverly and Jackson. You get a small kitchen. Sink, stove, oven, microwave. And the oven and stove and stuff sets the fire line off. Yeah. Anytime you cook, there's a refrigerator. You got pots and pans and silverware in the cabinets. Bring your own pots and pans. Yeah. They weren't in the best condition. They're all scratched up. Yeah. Living room, you got a couch. Is this a sleeper sofa? It's a sleeper sofa. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, it is too. 
So you get a sleeper sofa, lamp, back deck door, you get an electric fireplace, and then out the back door you get a deck. You get a small wooden deck with a park bench overlooking the lake. And you get a charcoal grill in their park bench and then a fire pit over there. And that is cabin four. They're a little more secluded than we are. They get their own little backyard and there's cabin six. They're fairly secluded too. So back in the house, this cabin measures 21 feet by 21 feet, which is I think 441 square feet is what I figured out. So it's pretty small. Here's the bedroom. You get, I guess it's a queen size bed. There's a little nightstand, several windows. Bathroom, it's a decent sized bathroom. You get a sink and that lot doesn't always work. You have to flick the switch several times. Commode and shower. And then they don't give you soap, but they give you body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. So decent little cabin. It's not, it's definitely not very fancy or nice or anything, but it'll do, especially for just a weekend trip. You ready to head home? Yep. You ready to head home? I guess. I think Jack's ready to head home. Yep. <laughs> Where would he just you go? fell asleep like five minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Where would you go if it wasn't home? Gosa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd agree with Pagosa. Really? Pagosa I like this little right cabin. Now. Yeah. I think that the space was perfect. Like I yeah. don't I think this is exactly what we would need for a trip like this. Right. Just wish there were some better amenities. Like I wish it was a little nicer. Yeah. That's I wish I wish things were a little nicer and felt a little cleaner. Yeah. Cause the whole time I felt kind of grossed out. Yeah. The floor I feels gross. I think it's gross. the floor. Yeah. It's like concrete feeling. It's not concrete, but it's like I don't know. It's just bare floor, like no. Yeah. You want wooden floor or something like that to feel better. Yeah. The floor is probably the grossest thing. Yeah, I think the bathroom was pretty nice. Yeah. For uh, the whole cabin. The bathroom is probably the nicest thing the in there. The kitchen this. probably was the worst. Like the, yeah. I mean, like, I know the fridge is just rust. I think that's just rust, but it looks disgusting. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and I know at night, like, I can, with the this light on, I can see, like, all kinds of fingerprints around the handles. Really? So every time I open it, I, like, use my pinky. <laughs> and there's granddaddy long legs always trying to crawl in the cabin. And that, like we said, the oven, it always sets the alarm off. I don't really know, I mean, I don't know why. Yeah, there's <laughs> nothing that you could do any better to not do it. But, um, I mean, the space for it was great. The yeah. Space-wise, it was a good... Good size for just a family. And it was a cute little porch. It was nice to have a porch to yeah. go out on. The window, there's a lot of windows, so that helps the place make... It helps the place feel bigger. Yeah. And they're pretty nice windows. They're like all the wood looking windows. Yeah. And the doors feel nice. Yeah. The doors are probably the nicest yeah. thing. They have a good, like, faucets and stuff. Yeah. But everything else is just kind of like, meh. Yeah. But you can see the lake. Yep. Thanks for watching. We're going to head back east, back to home. We got about a four hour drive, about three and a half to four hours. So with him, probably six. <laughs> <laughs> I think it did take six to get here. Really? I think. Yeah. Close. Close to six. Yeah. I think, I think we're going to head and eat breakfast about an hour away. So, headed home. See y'all next time. Bye.